There goes the tour, there goes the jobs. There goes the brat, there goes the slob. There goes the cop, there goes the mob. There goes the votes, there goes the odds. Here come the bombs. Like, oh, tell me what you expect. Welcome back to Running Back Music. I'm Zumi Underground. Today we got something a little different for y'all. This is Zed Tabani and his Freestyle the News episode. So he'll put uh, about a week's worth of headlines together for you. And he'll uh, make a rap about all of them. And then he'll spend like 10 to 20, sometimes 30 minutes after the rap, uh, breaking them down and offering like his commentary and opinions and more of a deep dive of what is even happening in the story. So uh, it's a really cool channel. I definitely recommend uh, watching the full video because today we're just going to be covering the song. That's what we do here at Running Back Music. Um, but yeah, if any of these you know, headlines pique your interest, definitely go check out the rest of this video over on Zed's channel. Um, I'll link that in the description down below, of course. Uh, but this has been a long intro for me, so let's go ahead and run it. Freestyle hey, 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 hey. Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black. <laughs> Until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black. And now she wants to be known as black. So oh. I don't know. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Alright, first and foremost, let me just uh, give props to that, that Pharrell four count intro. Uh, if y'all are very familiar with Pharrell, that's like an iconic thing that he does, like bump, 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 and then starts the beat. Uh, it's usually like the first beat of the song that he repeats four times before the beat starts. But I mean, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna edit in uh, some examples of that because it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And like, once you see it the first time, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And like, it'll resonate with you. Like you always knew it was there, but maybe you didn't quite pay attention to it unless you are just very observant about those types of things. But if you're a casual music listener, uh, it'll be like a unconscious thing that you picked up. But it's pretty cool. So there's that. And then I just had to, why does Trump say black like that? He sounded like very uncomfortable saying it. Like she turned black <laughs> i don't know man I, I'm, I'm gonna try to stick to just the music uh on this video today but this was a crazy past week that zed's covering on this um on this video so I, i'm sure my opinions are gonna spill into this video somewhere uh along the way whether they're you know, political or social or otherwise uh like i said I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stick to just the music but i got opinions man so They'll, they'll get in there. But anyway, uh, let's keep watching. Put it down, who you picking up? Put up a lead, you know we had to go switch it up. Go like Simone, we flipping that 2021. They keep on talking that shit without doing nothing and suddenly start to give a fuck now. Oh my God, wow. Last gram standing, now we gotta crash out. Tell his buddy he gonna probably have to fuck a new couch. Tell him money we gonna run until they gotta shut down. What now? Like huge, huge congratulations and shout out to Simone Biles on uh, winning even more golds for herself and for the the country which is hilarious because there are people who are calling her like selfish and weak because she uh kind of called out of the 2020 olympics in tokyo um but now she's like one of the oldest and that's so weird to say cause she's only 26 but certain professions usually sports are like that like <laughs> 26 is like the upper end for uh for gymnasts for sure um but she's still out here winning golds she's winning both golds by like a lot and still inventing new tricks or uh, are they called they, they're probably not called tricks i'm i used to skate so i call them tricks but uh what are they called a few moments later elements elements that's what it is okay uh but anyway um so yeah still still out here being a goat uh and probably part of her like break in 2020 might have contributed to her being such a legend that she is right now. So um, anybody who was talking shit before, fuck you. Let her do her thing. Let her take care of herself um, and be in the best possible physical and mental health that she can be. Um, do what she needs to do for herself. So anyway, big props to Simone Biles. And then the JD Vans dig was hilarious, uh, being a couch fucker. Uh, I, like, I can't think of that and not also think of uh, Jason Biggs being the pie fucker from American Pie. Um, 
I feel like that's just kind of like one of those things that lives with you even as you progress through your life and do other things in your career. Um, if I if I say pie fucker, you know who I'm talking about still, right? Y- you do, you do. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that was great. Let's 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 move on. There's more here. There goes the tour, there goes the jobs. There goes the brat, there goes the slob. There goes the cop, there goes the mob, there goes the votes, there goes the odds. It come to bombs. Like oh, tell me what you expect. I just take what I get. They say me is a threat. I said what I said. Like oh, I don't need your respect. Yeah, you say I'm a threat. I said what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said, bitch. Yo, that was a smooth chorus, man. I love that. Uh, it's catchy as hell. I'm pretty sure these are on Spotify, but yeah, I can definitely see myself bumping this in the car on my way to wherever the... I don't go anywhere. I stay, uh, This is my basement. I stay in the basement, like, almost 24-7. I'll go, uh, I'll go upstairs to, to sleep for three, four hours a night. Uh, but other than that, I'm down here in the basement. <laughs> so... Um, the every now and then when I drive, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bumping this freestyle the new song. Uh, that's dope. Another five, you can feel it in the summer heat. Another bucket like I'm Katie on another three. Pentagon bailing BB out another beef. Mad the rock don't have a money back guarantee. Another hour long video on Mr. Beast. Some more drama, you've been ginning up for half a week. Anti cancel culture trying to cancel Charlie out his reach. Trying to Cody Co on Mountain Secret while you try to stream. Everybody out here really playing teams. You don't give a fuck about boxing, you just trying to take a heavy swing at anything. To push this whole agenda you've been trying to break. Siding out the shittiest organization in the ring of boxing. Wanna f- Okay, uh, so I didn't know there was all that much YouTuber drama happening right now. I heard about Mr. Beast's associate, uh, Ava, I think was her name. Uh, I, I didn't even like look into it further. It's just like some headline about she had some inappropriate behavior in the past. I didn't know he had his own stuff coming up recently as well. Uh, Cody Ko, I did, I did know about. Uh, I used to watch a lot of Cody Ko, um, and then he has stuff now, so that's a big yikes. But I'm also really digging the flow in this section. Um, it's like, in all fairness, it's not too difficult to rhyme the E sound, which is happening a lot in this verse. Um, but I feel like Zed's cadence is keeping things, like, really interesting and auditorily pleasing, so really digging that. Also, a nice double entendre with the heavy swing, you know, since people have been taking swings at the, the trans athletes for a while. And, of course, we're talking about boxing, so... Very clever. I liked it. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Fire. You and all those fuckers back in the Maduro diet. Posted up on X supply and half of all the fucking bias. Now we building cans and I'm watching these fuckers say they from the left but trying to justify it. Crazy. Fumble like a Starbucks dot. Shout out to protests in Bangladesh. Hit that block. These motherfuckers went birth on a mixed race plot. Thinking they got it in the bag till that old man dropped. And that is... Dang. So we talked about Starbucks dropping, but I'm recording this on Monday the 5th and everything's dropping today the whole market crypto market stock market all of it's uh so starbucks probably just looks in line with everything else right now (laughs) but i think this came out over the weekend so uh still fair point from him but also as a biracial person myself i thought the whole thing about kamala and i know we kind of touched on it earlier um is is hilarious to me he's like and he like had that clip about uh with mindy kaling and uh and kamala talking about indian food um and of course they're gonna talk about the indian side of her her makeup because the black side's not relevant when they're talking about indian cuisine (laughs) i'm not gonna bring up my japanese side when i'm talking about racial prejudice in america uh, especially when it comes, like, as it pertains to black people. So that doesn't mean my Japanese side doesn't exist. It's just not pertinent to that conversation. So why would I bring that up? Like, I'm not going to be at my work meeting talking about, oh, yeah, man, I learned a new combo from you two and Smash Brothers. Like, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> I am a nerd. Yes, I play a lot of video games. I watch anime, manga, all that stuff. But it's not going to be important in every single conversation. Like, my work, my work meetings don't care about (laughs) playing Smash Brothers or League of Legends or whatever else I do for fun. So it doesn't even have to be your, like, 
ethnic, racial, or gender identity or anything like that, like even your interests and hobbies, um, that makes up who you are. And not all parts of who you are matter in all situations. In fact, most of them don't matter in most situations. Usually only a handful of things matter at a time. So um, you don't have to bring up everything at the same time, you know? So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, let's get back to the song. <laughs> Go to see reforms on the props they got And we finally got the journals with a prisoner swap I'm trying to keep it optimistic when I hit that cause They think the pick is obvious But I see writings on the walls like Oh, tell me what you expect I just take what I get They say me is a threat I said what I said like Oh, I don't need your respect Go ahead, cut me my check Me is a threat I said what I said I said what I said like Oh, Tell me what you expect. I just take what I get. This ain't me as a threat. I said what I said, like, oh, now I don't need your respect. Go ahead, cut me my check. Say me as a threat. I said what I said. I said what I said, bitch. Yeah. Woo! Too soon. Let's go. All right, I really want to give props to the song structure in this one. Uh, I love that double hook at the end. I feel like that's not too common. Um, but the first hook was like mostly a cappella, just had like a little bit of percussion backing. And then he brought the beat back. And then when he brought the beat back in, there was like some extra little keyboard in there that wasn't there in the entire rest of the song. So it just added like a nice little bit of extra flair to the piece, made it made that hook even groovier and like smoother than it already was. Like I already talked about how smooth it was earlier, but adding that keyboard in there is just just butter. It melts it all over me. But I'm sorry for that visual, <laughs> but it was so smooth, man. I, I really, really like that. So, uh, yeah, dude, this, this song is dope. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And, um, if you found any of the headlines, interesting, any of the topics, interesting, definitely check out the rest of the video. Um, you're going to want to check out anyway, just so you can watch it without my interruptions. And also when I watch these, I know I have to, <laughs> I have to rewind so many times so I can like catch the headlines and listen to the rap at the same time. Uh, but like, I, I can't, I can't do it all at once. Um, so I find myself like hitting back and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I, like go, go watch the actual video and, and do all that. That was Freestyle the News, episode 64 of I Zed Tabani. Um, I would never advocate for getting, like, all of your news just from one source. Uh, I think it's important to, like, look at a variety of different news sources, especially if it's political because, you know, some are going to lean left or lean right, um, and you want to either get both sides or get something neutral. Um, but either way, like, it helps to have a variety of sources. But that said, if you just, like, if you had a busy week and you just need, like, a summary of everything that happened in the world that day, um, I love catching up with these. Um, and if there's something that kind of catches my interest, then I'll kind of use it as a starting point to do my own research later on. Um, but it's, if you don't know what to even search, then it's kind of hard to, to figure stuff out like that. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a really nice jumping off point. Um, to, to do your own research if, if that's something that you're interested in, which I would encourage. But besides that, I think Zed's got like a really good ear for music, um, and I love his delivery on everything. Um, he also does a lot of his uh, uh, a lot of projects outside of this. For all of my fellow nerds out there who watch Evo 2024, Zed was actually in charge of all the music that you heard at the event. Um, so I mean, he worked with a bunch of different artists as well to get these songs together. Um, but yeah, that's another like huge project that he has under his belt. Uh, that was that was amazing. Um, so I know that Evo album is on Spotify. Um, I believe the Freestyle the News uh, songs also come out on Spotify at some point. Uh, I looked up this one, um, and at the time of this recording, I did not see it on there. Um, but when it does, and that you know, one time a week that I'm driving to the, gro I get most of my groceries delivered too. So I really don't drive that often. Um, but hey, if I'm ever driving, the song's gonna be bumping, and I'm just gonna be playing it in my office here anyway. So uh, but yeah, I can't wait till that comes out. Please make sure to follow um, follow him on Spotify, subscribe to his channel over on YouTube, keep up with Freestyle the News. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a really cool way to get caught up on news for the week. Um, 
And then don't forget to subscribe to Run It Back Music as well and like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, we definitely appreciate it, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So with that, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.